Today's class is going to be dedicated to shoulders and spine. So we're going to start with the roller, the foam roller, or if you don't have it, I will be giving some options with a small ball. So the idea is to be a little bit higher and to place something between your shoulders and to be able to, to feel what's happening there. So even if this doesn't work, you can roll a big towel very tight and place it alongside underneath your spine just to have this perception. So if you have the roller, you sit at one end of the roller. And then for the beginning of the class, no challenges, you can just use your hands and lay down on the roller so that your head is still on the roller. So if you have a short roller like me and Teresa, you can place a small bow underneath the sacrum. Just find a comfortable position that you can feel both shoulders around your prop. And then just take three deep breaths. Only relax here. The feet are hip distance apart. Just let gravity pull your shoulders down. Relax your arms. Pull a little bit the chin to the chest. Take one more deep breath. And with the next breath in, you will lift the arms up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, just lower them down and relax them again completely. Feel how your shoulders open to both sides. Again, inhale, just lift up with the palms facing forward, exactly. And exhale, gently lower them down. Two more times. Inhale to lift. Feeling that both shoulders are equal distance from the center of your prop. Exhale to lower. Next time we stay up with the arms. Inhale, lift them up. Stay here. Take another inhale and lift higher. So both shoulders go all the way up as high as you can. And as you exhale, only the shoulders are sinking down as if you want to hug your foam roller or your bow. And then again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower the shoulders. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Is that better, Kate? And exhale, lower. You have the long roller, right? Because we are doing some modifications here. Good. Just keep the arms straight, completely straight, all the time. With the same idea what we're doing here, start move, making circles with your shoulders. So send the shoulders towards your feet up to the ceiling, towards your ears, and down, and continue this circle. The arms and fingers can be relaxed, and you just circle around your shoulders. Exactly. All the time you're centered on the roller, it's giving you a good feedback that your spine is straight. If you're on the small ball, I think for this exercise you can better do it on the floor without the prop or with a blanket. Ah, Katy, you found an, a solution. Oh, that's good. Good, so that you don't have to hold the head. Okay, reverse the direction of your circles. We just do four in the other direction. And then from here, take a deep breath in and open both arms to the sides. Reach to both sides as far as you can and try to touch the floor with your fingertips. Exhale, bring the hands together. Press them together and lift the shoulders. Inhale, lower the shoulders and open. 
reaching to both sides of the room. Exhale, hands together and lift. Two more times. Inhale to open. Exhale, lift. And last one, open. And lift. Hold your hands here. Press the hands together, inhale. As you exhale, reach up and lift head, neck and chest up, drawing half circle with your arms forward. And inhale down. Exhale, press a little bit your hands together as you roll up. And inhale, roll down. Exactly. Just up the arms, you don't have to bring them overhead because we hold them together. We want to keep the distance between the ears and the shoulders. So roll two more times up. And down, we are already massaging our thoracic spine using the own weight to make space between the vertebras. Last one, exhale. Inhale, roll down. And we're going to open the arms. And this time we bring the arms in something like a cactus position. So the palms face each other and you try to lower your elbows all the way down to the floor. Good, just stay here for two breaths to let the body adjust to that position because we are really opening the joint where our sternum and clavicles meet and this could be very tight. So just take another breath and now we start moving so your fingers and your wrists are tight, they don't bend. We lower the forearms all the way forward and down and bring the arms in the opposite direction. So you try to touch the floor with your thumbs, which is maybe not going to work. It depends on your mobility, maybe it will. And again, forward. And back towards your head. Try to keep your elbows as close to the floor as possible. If they are touching, good. If not, it's also all right. Don't push or press anything. Don't force the movement. Just do it a few times. And the more you do it with relaxed manner, you're going to notice that maybe you can go easier in either direction. Okay. Let's keep one of the positions. We bring the arms backwards, so the hands are close to the head. And we just hold it here using the gravity and just breathing. Hello, Francois. So we just hold our arms in this uh, scarecrow position that we know from the belly. We usually lay on the belly to do this. Just stay here, take another deep breath, let the gravity open your chest. So we're laying long side on the foam roller. Francois, if you have one, yes, you have one. Okay, one deep breath more and then go all the way in the opposite direction with the pink, pinky finger on the floor and try to move here a little bit your shoulders up and down. So just the shoulders. It's like massaging the shoulders. So Francois, you can start with a few shoulder circles and just lifting the arms up and down like this before you go into this extreme position here. Okay, good. Now we lift the fingers again up to the ceiling. And from here we lift the elbows off the ground. So we are in more or less 90 degree angle. Imagine you're holding a box. Inhale. As you exhale, imagine you squeeze that box so your hands are not really moving towards each other, but you squeeze an imaginary box and you lift again the chest neck and chest. Hold it here, inhale and exhale, roll back down, holding. So you have activation, elbows and the back of the hands is pulling outwards, but at the same time you imagine you're squeezing a box with your hands. Again, lift head, neck and chest up 
and roll down. You're centered on your prop. Lift again. Good. And lower. Don't forget you can try to open your elbows more to the side. One last time. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And we stretch one more time the arms to the ceiling. And now we do full circles. So bring the arms all the way behind the head. Keeping the ribs still on the roller. Try to not lift them and circle the arms around all the way to your feet and back up. So the biggest circles that you can find in your shoulder joints. So here we have the ability to go lower than usual when we do the arm circles. So really feel your shoulders, the tips of your shoulder blades going around the roller. When you lift the arms, lift the shoulders as well. So combine all the moves from before. Big, big circles. Good. Keep breathing. You can inhale when the arms go up and overhead and exhale when they go to the sides and forward. Again, inhale and exhale. One more time and then we reverse the direction. And exhale. And now stay over the floor, opening the arms, reach and go all the way overhead and forward. So we just switch the direction. Just laying here alongside on the roller is already flattening a little bit our rounded upper back. If you're sitting too much on the computer, even if you don't notice it, sometimes we slouch and stay too long in a rounded position so you're just laying on the roller moving the shoulders is already flattening a little bit this curve okay and then finish with your hands behind the head interlace your fingers we bring the elbows close to the face so really squeeze your elbows and then lift head and the neck to stretch the neck first Hold it for one moment and then exhale and roll a little bit higher. So imagine you're making just the upper body super round, like in a circle position. And then roll all the way back down. Open your elbows and try to reach with your elbows the ground. We lift the elbows. Roll first the head and the neck. And then roll a little bit higher. So really curl the upper body. And roll back down and open. Repeat this four or five more times. Good. Oh, Francois, you can go all the way on your roller. I'm just with a small bow because my roller is short, like Teresa's. It's going to be more comfortable for you. So you have the sacrum and the head, yes, exactly. Good. Next time you roll up, stay there. And just hold it for one moment. Without losing the curve in your spine, open your elbows. Inhale and exhale, close your elbows. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. If you can squeeze your legs, it's going to be a little bit more challenging for your balance or bring them closer together. Here we're keeping our chest lift and just moving the elbows and respectively the shoulders. One more time, our core is on fire already. Last one, bring the elbows close to the face and we do just five small pulses, rolling a little bit higher and a little bit lower. Breathe out when you go up. And last two and one. And roll all the way down. Find the length in your neck. 
from here, just open both knees to the sides and relax your arms. We take two deep breaths. Again, let gravity open your chest. Shoulders are sinking down. Okay. Good. Carefully. No, you stay for one more exercise. So I change my mind. We lift the heels off the ground. So take your feet hip distance apart. Take your arms parallel to the floor with the palms facing down. Reach both arms long. And now we do a bridge or just the beginning of the bridge. Exhale, you tilt the pelvis and start lifting. And as you exhale, roll down again. All the time reaching with the arms long. Exhale, tilt your pelvis and send your knees over your feet to find length in your spine and exhale, roll down. Try to follow the exact line of your spine and for, for Kati, you just go off the bow. Or actually on the bow, it would be as well nice to balance. Yes. Good. Just one last time. And row all the way down. Carefully row, row yourself over one side to go off your roller. Roll it away from you. And lay down for a moment. Katya, you wanted to say something? No, okay. So we are just laying down on the mat with flat back to feel our shoulders. They should be closer to the floor than usual. And from here, we take the arms overhead. Try to push the back of the hands on the ground. And at the same time, we do a pelvic curl. So you just tilt your pelvis and press the lower back and the ribs into the mat. And then release, inhale, exhale. So coming into the imprint position and relax again. At the same time, push with the backs of the hands into the floor and try to flatten the whole lower back. If it's not working completely, don't worry, just move two, three times your pelvis, your pelvis in this direction. And then find your imprint or as close as possible to the floor with the lower back and the ribs. Exhale, start lifting the arms. Let the head and neck follow and keep reaching forward towards your feet. We lift one knee up, stretch the leg. Bend and lower, lift the other knee, stretch the leg, bend, lower and roll all the way down into your starting position. Relax the pelvis. We repeat, exhale, tilt your pelvis, press the lower back down, lift the arms, headache and chest follow, lifting one leg and stretch, bend and lower. All the time we feel the lower back down, our sacrum is still in contact with the floor still. And then we roll all the way down. Last one. Relax your pelvis. Push down with your hands. Tilt the pelvis. Then lift the arms, head, neck and chest up. Lifting one leg, stretch. The other, stretch. 
and release. Okay, so we take the roller underneath our pelvis. So Cat, you can take the ball. It will work as well. It's underneath the sacrum, underneath the pelvis. Center yourself. The feet are hip distance apart. You can hold your prop for a moment here. Relax your shoulders. And start moving the pelvis a little bit in an arch and tilting it towards you. As if you are wiping it into its round shape. Just one more time. And then find your neutral spine position, neutral pelvic position. So you're not arching the lower back and you're not imprinting it all the time, but somewhere in between. Then relax your ribs, hold that position, and we slide the right leg on the floor as far forward as we can until it's straight or almost straight. And then you can lift the foot straight and completely the whole leg and we lift the whole leg up, bend and lower the foot down. With the other leg, we slide on the ground, so we are really opening the hip here. Lift the straight leg, bend and lower the foot down. So you can go into your own tempo. Try to not move your lower back or your pelvis at all. And we are opening here the front of our hips as we reach forward and down. Check your ribs. The ribs are not flaring upwards. You want to keep them nice and relaxed. You can imagine that there is butter on your chest and it is melting in the sun. So really relax your upper body and let the ribs sink down. Good. One more time each side. And then we're going to stretch one leg, keep it straight. Maybe you're on your heel, maybe you can step with the whole foot, depending on your flexibility. And carefully, slowly stretch the other leg next to it. And just stay here for one deep breath, sending the ribs down. We're going to feel an extreme opening here on the front. Let's bring the arms overhead as well. And reach back. At the same time, send your ribs down. And think of tilting the pelvis towards you. So if you have wheels on your pelvis, you spin them towards the ribs. Okay. And then carefully bend one leg, then the other. You can open the feet a little bit wider than usual, maybe shoulder distance apart. Arms in a T-shape or in a V, something comfortable. And we just move the knees side to side and the whole pelvis moves along. So we're massaging here. And the small bow is a little bit different effect because it's soft and you have to balance more. And here it's more like massaging and we have a lot of feedback from the prop to know where exactly we're moving. So see that it's symmetrical when you go left to right. Notice that your legs go same way to both sides. Maybe you can twist more over to one direction. So concentrate on the other side. Okay, and find your center again. You can hold your prop for security. And then we lift one knee up. So you have to be really on top of the foam roller so it doesn't roll away. 
and then we'll lift the other leg next to it in the tabletop position. In the sound. Oh, sorry. The sound is being technotronic. The sound is, you cannot hear? That's weird. And now? It's just interferences. Now we can hear you now, but sometimes there's interferences. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. I hope it's gonna stay. I put the microphone, but oh, I see the problem. It was not plugged. Now, now it should be with the microphone. I'm sorry, I thought everything is plugged, but it was not completely put inside. Okay, so that's why, because I'm away from the device and it was not coming from the microphone. Anyway, we are here in the 90 degree angle position on the roller or on the boat, watching that the spine is neutral. And we bring the feet together and open the knees Again, you cannot hear? No. Okay. We stretch the legs forward, so we're in the outer rotation. The knees show to both sides of the room. Then we open the legs and bend and repeat. Stretch, open, bend. And repeat. As you stretch, you squeeze the inner thighs together and turn your knees as far to the side as you can. Then you open the legs as much as you can and then you bend. All the time with neutral spine. So we will add one move. You stretch the legs forward, then you open the legs as far as you can, then you lift the legs and then you bend. Stretch, it's a little bit like swimming frog. Open, bring the legs towards your body, keeping the spine neutral so you go as far as your body allows you to, even if it's a small move. We don't sacrifice the stability of our spine. And once you get ahead, of this move, you can try to go more fluently. Okay, one last time. And then we bend the knees and just let them sink over your chest and use the prop to find more length into your lower back. If you want, just stay here and breathe, or you can move a little bit side to side. Good. Place one foot after the other on the floor, and roll the roller a little bit closer to you, so it's going to be underneath the lower back. Here, be very careful. You can lift the pelvis and just let so much weight on the roller as it feels nice. If it hurts, don't let the whole weight go on your roller. And here you want to round over the roller. If it feels nice, let your whole weight sink into the roller and take this curve or on the bow. On the bow is even more comfortable, but here be really careful. Just stay here for a moment. And as you exhale, you tilt your pelvis as if you're doing the bridging. And lift. We're going to go on the toes. And here, curl, so arch your lower back, sending the sitting bones down. And you go around the roller and then you tilt the pelvis 
like a bridge and go up and again lower the sitting bones down and lift usually in the bridging i'll show you without without the roller usually we tilt the pelvis we roll up and we go exactly the same way down but now we roll up the normal way and when we go down we arch the lower back to go down and then lift and you arch and lift yes so you can take Teresa your roller even a little bit more under the lower back so closer to you so you can really arch around that area. Yes, that's it. Okay, one last time. And then just lift your pelvis, bring the roller away and roll all the way down onto your back. And now your whole back should feel even flatter than before. We open again the knees to the sides. Open the arms. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good. Take your hands underneath your knees. And we're rolling up to sitting with assisted roll up. And we will take our big bowl. Everybody has the big bowl. If you don't have it, you can use the small bowl. So, Teresa has it, Birgit has it, Francois, you have it, Katy. Okay, this is going to work as well. You're gonna be just closer to the floor. And um, I'm checking the recording, keeps going. Okay. So, we're going on the knees with the bowl in front of us. And Katya can lay down all the way on the floor, on the belly. And then from here, just take the bowl underneath your chest. So depending on the size of your bowl, you can adjust. Okay. So we have the bowl with both hands, with both arms. Open the feet a little bit wider and from here we're going to stretch the legs so we are in like a supported plank position. Open your feet as wide as you mat. So this would be important to make sure that we activate the glutes and the pelvic floor here and don't put pressure on the lower back. I want you to push the pubic bone into the bow or in that direction. And from here we inhale and lift the chest and exhale, come back into your straight line, into this plank position. Inhale to lift. The legs are completely straight. Exhale, lower. Good. I would say Francois and Teresa, you can bring the ball a little bit more forward or walk a little bit more back with the feet. Yes, that's it. Good. One more time. arms and lift both arms and chest circle the arms up around and towards your feet to reach your maximum extension and breathe
bring them forward and lower the body. So we lift the arms, the upper chest, circle the arms, keep circling them up and behind you. And down. Use the breath. Inhale to lift. So Katya here, you have to modify a little bit. You circle the arms, reach back, 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 and then you can bend the arms like swimming and then reach forward. Yes, exactly. Using the breath and using the biggest range of motion of your shoulders possible. So Teresa, you lift the arms, and lift the chest, and when you go back, keep lifting even higher, even higher, even higher. And then once the arms start going down and forward, then you lower the chest down. Good. Francois, straight legs. Push the heels back. Yes. And if a straight arms all the time. Wait. Okay, keep your balance. One last time, everybody. And then you can hug your bow, bend your knees, and round the back. And cat, you can just rest with the bow underneath your chest, lowering the head on the floor. We take here two deep breaths. Okay. We mobilized a lot of the shoulders, so now we can strengthen them a little bit. You're going to take the bow, so go on your knees, go back off the bow, and bring the bow all the way to one end of the mat. And you're going to roll on it until the bow is on your upper legs. And Kat, you can just do, you can try with a small bow, you're going to be lower. But if it's not working, you can just do without any prop, normal push-ups. So here we have the shoulders exactly underneath, uh, over our hands. We're doing our shoulder push-up first. Make sure that you're not hanging into your lower back. Lift your stomach and squeeze the shoulder blades together and push yourself off the ground. Again, shoulder blades together and push. So the spine is straight and just the shoulders move. Good. Find a neutral shoulder position and we start bending the arms to the sides, so elbows to the sides. And as you bend, your legs are going to automatically lift a little bit. So we stay in a perfect straight line. We do just one more in this version with the elbows to the sides. Inhale when you lower, exhale when you lift. And now we do another three. Pilates style with the elbows close to the ribcage. Inhale to bend, exhale to push. So all the time holding the core engaged, you can slightly squeeze your glutes to help the whole process. And one last time. And then walk back with your hands to go onto your bow and rest one more time here. With round back, relax your arms, relax your head. Take a deep breath in and out. And we're going one more time into the same position. So, this time try to walk so far that your bow is onto your lower legs. Again, don't hang. Push yourself. So here really 
find stability in your shoulders and in your core. And we're doing the inverted V. So you exhale and lift from your core, your pelvis up and push yourself with both hands away from the floor. And inhale to stretch. You don't have to go all the way up through the pelvis. Just see how far you want to go. Of course, you can bend the knees, but let's try with straight legs. It's gonna be different. One last time. Everybody's doing a good job. And carefully roll back until you are sitting. Sorry, I didn't give any variations to Kati, but I'm sure you found a way to train this. We can sit on the ball for a moment and just rotate our wrists in one direction and then in the other. Just to release the tension there. And then shake your hands. Good. You do just two circles in one direction with the whole ball and two circles in the other and cat you can just be in cross legs and move the rib cage around the pelvis like what we do at the end of, of classes usually and then reverse other way around just to loosen up here the hips and the lower back okay yeah we're going the bow on the side. Uh, for Katya, I'll give you in a moment the variation. You're going to be just on your knees with one leg straight to the side and you will do this version. And we are taking the bow as close. So it depends on the bow. So just go and lay on the side of the bow. Upper leg is straight. So we want to have the bow under the rib cage, more or less. Find a stable position. You can hug the bow with one arm, see that you are not sliding anywhere. And first we take that arm overhead, inhale, and as you exhale, draw a half circle and reach in the opposite direction and you can hold, help yourself with the lower arm for the moment and then lower down again. Let's do this a few times, support it with the lower arm, watching out that the pelvis is well aligned. And Katy, you have just one leg straight here and you will do opposite arm, so lower arm underneath and upper arm overhead and up and this version okay just one more time and then we should be already in a stable position take both hands behind the head push the head into your hands a little bit Check that your pelvis didn't twist, send the upper side of your pelvis forward and here we lift halfway up and down and halfway up and down and catch you doing the same thing only in a different position so you just go towards your leg and up and towards your leg If this is not working at all with the hands behind the head, you can use the straight arm, it's easier. So again, take the whole straight arm, but try to not use the lower arm as a support.
Good. One last time. And then from here, we sit down on the heels and we rotate the shoulders to the back. And to the front. Relax your arms, your shoulders, and we move the head side to side. Gentle stretch on the neck, up, and then to the other side. And back up. One more time to each side. Good straight spine, relax shoulders, relax face. Good. And then chin to the chest. And look up. One last time, chin to the chest, and look up, okay, take the bow over to the other side, and we're doing the same thing, so first find the position that you're with the ribs on the bow, one hand supporting, check the pelvis, and we go with the arm overhead for a nice stretch here. And exhale, reach in the other side, in the other direction. Our head is in alignment with the whole spine. Maybe one side is easier than the other. Get in front, so I don't see your head so much, but I have the feeling that you're not lifting so much the upper body. So try to really round sideways, side flexion in your spine. Okay, one more time. behind the head don't push your head forward push the head into your hands a little bit and then we lift here and lower exhale to lift and lower so by the time our side muscles must be working here the waistline and let's smile for the last two. Um, Kathy, you can do the other version with the hands behind the head and really reaching towards your leg, towards the straight leg. Like, like this. Yes. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not so exact with the counting. And then release. You can stretch both arms over the bow here for a moment. And we go one more time on our heels. And we will take our prop overhead. Shoulders down. And from here, I'm sure you from this side, you tilt your pelvis forward, so you really tuck. And with this activation, you get up. Keep pushing the pelvis forward and gently open the chest. Find the straight line in your spine and sit down, trying to keep one perfect vertical line. So not lean forward. Exhale again. With the pelvis you tilt forward and this is lifting you up. Push more forward with the pelvis. With the glutes slightly lean back. So not from the lower back, from your thoracic spine. 
then one straight line, bend and lower, just holding the probe. And we try not to bend forward, straight up. Keep the ribs in, keep the ribs in. Good. And sit down. So, yeah, I would ask you to turn on the side so I can see your spine, if you could. Good, Teresa. Francois, when you lean backwards, try to pull more the ribs in. And just a little bit lean back. So it's not, it's not arching the lower back. Lower back completely straight. Even if it's a super small movement. And Katya, when you go up, really tilt your pelvis forward. So scoop, 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 and then up as much as you can. Good. One last time. Take your bow in front of you. Well, let's lay on the bow, put your back. Do you need to go? Okay. Thanks for joining. Okay. So we're on the back. Cat, you can be with the pelvis on the floor and with the bow between the shoulder blades. And here we take the hands behind the head to support the head. And we're going to lift the pelvis so that we're in a more or less straight line from the knees to the chest. The head is a little bit higher than that. Find your stability. First, we will lift one heel up and lower it then the other heel up and lower this is just a preparation all the time lifting the pelvis and ribs down i want you to be very careful to not lose the balance i don't want anybody to get injured but listen to your body and see if you're ready for that if you can balance so now concentrate, activate the whole right leg and lift the left heel and try to lift the whole left foot without losing the stability in the rest of the body and lower down and relax the head for one moment. Exhale, lift the head again and let's try the other side. So really activate the left leg, first lift the right heel. Maybe you're going to shift your weight a little bit more to the left. Try to lift the whole foot for a moment, balance, lower the foot down, and relax the whole spine. And let's repeat one more time on each side. And for Katy, you can actually lift the pelvis as well, yes. It should be working like this and trying to lift one leg at a time. As you lift the foot, your goal is to keep the pelvis high. So if I try to lift the pelvis a little bit more, yes, and bring it as well. Lift your pelvis. Lift, 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 lift. I think bring it your bow is not at the right spot. It should be more towards your shoulders. So walk with your feet forward. Yeah, there. And now try again. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. One last time. 
and both feet are on the ground and from here so you have to have the ball really underneath your shoulders if it's not there find that position and from here we start with stability push both feet on the ground so stretch both legs and lift the upper body a little bit more and bend the legs and come into this initial position where we are one line from the knees to the chest again roll as you stretch the legs you roll the ball away from you and you round and then you stretch um, Katya, you can just do the chest lift so lifting slightly the pelvis and lifting the chest lift and maybe do some obliques side to side because this version is not gonna work so good with the snowball Good. Let's do one last time. And then from here, lower your pelvis down and stretch your arms over the bowl. Exactly. And just take your two deep breaths. You can roll a little bit side to side with the bowl. Lift the arms up to the ceiling and go gently off the ball. Take the ball away from you and you can lay down on the floor without any prop. The legs are bent, arms by your sides. And from here, we lift one leg in the tabletop position, next one next to it. We will prepare for overhead, so for the roll over. First, we stretch both legs out and bend. And again, stretch. And bend. One last time. Stretch. And bend. We're keeping the legs straight or as straight as you can. Send your shoulders away from the ears, chin to the chest. As you exhale, let gravity help you. First lower the legs over the head and the lower back is already lifting. Push a little bit with your arms and from your core, go up and over your head. Flex the feet, open the legs, show the distance apart. There is no weight on the neck, relax the chest. And as you exhale, roll one vertebra at a time down, circle the legs down together and up. We repeat two more times fluently with your breath. Exhale, roll up and over. Inhale, flex the feet, open the legs. You keep the legs as straight as you can, even if they're not completely straight. Roll the spine one vertebra at a time, circle the legs.